What's up boat lovers? Today we're working on a 2007 40 foot Meridian. We're going to be converting a mechanical controlled vessel into a fully electronic control system. Watch us do this. We're at the main helm. One thing that Meridian did with this particular boat is it looks like it's mechanical, but this whole boat is electronic. They have mechanical cables going to TPS sensors, which is throttle position sensors, right underneath the main helm. So we're going to be removing the throttle position sensors, okay, and we're going to be connecting it to our electronic control system, which has throttle output, which is electronic. This is a mechanical shift but inside there they put um, micro switches the micro switches are activating the electronic solenoids that are on the transmission this whole boat the engine package on this boat is completely electronic but this could fool you so before going out or ordering anything verify that this boat is either mechanical or electronic. All right, we're in the engine room right now. As you can see, this is a fully electronic Cummins package. And back there, we can show you later that it is a electronic shift. So what we do is we tie into the Cummins harnesses so that it's ignition enabled, but we're gonna actually take the processor mounted overhead underneath on top of the generator, which is forward over here. And we're gonna be running all harnesses coming to the port side, to the port side, and to the starboard side. These are prefabricated harness for Cummins. So in reality, it's like a plug and place. All right, guys, this is the whole package for the whole system, minus the control head. So this is a EEC4 that is mainly for Cummins. Underneath here, you have fuses for the shift and the enable circuit. And this right here is a communication, and this right here is your connectors. As it comes from the factory, it's a pre-built harness, it's a 25 foot, and it's a 30 foot. And you just plug it in here, apply your power, your can, your control head, and you plug it directly right into the engine. So you're utilizing the engine harnesses for all the information needed as far as power and controls. All right guys, so I've been abandoned by my father. Um, it's my job now to run all the cables. He had an emergency on another boat to go run to and merits, um, but now I'm gonna be running all the cables. As you can see, I'm trying to keep it all organized, making it like, you know, clean. I have to do another run from this port engine all the way to the now mounted processor right there. So everything's gonna look nice and neat and we'll be hopefully done with the running of the cables today. So these are the lengths that which Seaside will make sure that your cables are organized. As you can see, that is the ass of my father, but he's all the way buried into that whole tie wrapping, the communication cable that we just finished. You know, pushing through all those holes and now he's trying to get out Houdini. 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 yeah oh my god this boat is a nightmare to pull cables yeah this boat has been a nightmare to pull cables we spent the last couple of hours trying to just figure out how to pull that communication cable through and it was not easy as you can see some of the boat is apart but we were able to get it through. Now all we gotta do is just run the communication cable across my work that I've done and plug it into the box that's right there. All right, Julian got the engine cables ran. We got the port side there, so he doesn't know where those go. I do know. But, oh, he does know, okay, well. 
Now we're running the power harness. So we're running a power harness to the port battery and then we're gonna be going to the starter battery. So this is the harness and now we're running the communication cable. The communication cable on this boat comes from the, the main helm, which is upstairs, goes down the starboard side aft and comes back down through this little port here. So we had to remove this, which the TV is connected to that. So we had to remove this back cover in order to get to this and then we fish it directly right into the engine room. So I'll show you how we're running the cable. All right, I just showed you the back. So now we got the back already installed. Uh, we got the shelf back in there. We're gonna clean everything back up. We got our TV back in. So we don't need to go back into this corner anymore. We already ran our comm cable to the bridge and the comm cable directly right into the engine room, which comes to the starboard aft corner of the engine room through there. And it comes down through the center and we mounted our EEC4 Cummins package right underneath the floorboard right here. So, like I say, we'll show you how we connect it. Everything is a plug and play. There is no specific uh, harnesses for throttle or for shift. It is actually a Cummins harness that we built for for the, for these particular engines. So, you want to say no? Yeah. I got in that little hole, I'm in Houdini. So, we'll show you the rest when we get the control head mounted. And uh, I'll let you know. All right, guys, this boat is tight. In order for me to connect our plug and play system, we have to actually disable the vessel shifting, old shifting harnesses on port and starboard side, which is here. We're not gonna do anything with this. All we're gonna do is just tie these things back. This is the start interlock, which is no longer being utilized up at the main helm anymore. And this is the shift that used to be connected to the mechanical handles. Now we have our own harnesses that are ran along the top, along here. And one side goes to the port and the other one goes to the starboard. And as you can see, it's all nice and tidied up in here. And all we do is just tie into the OEM connector for the Cummins, the Cummins package. And that goes with the port side. The starboard side was a little bit easy. Port side was the one that was buried all the way in there. And I had to actually lay on my ribs just to get on it. But we got the port and starboard battery parallel. Uh, power supply going to our processor, which is on, which is on the overhead of the truck of the generator and we like we normally do we have a redundant power we take power from the port side and take power from the starboard side so that the system will always take the highest voltage so if there's a battery that's bad on the port side it'll automatically switch to the starboard side so that the control system is continuously running so now it's only a matter of plugging in the control heads up on the top making our templates and plates and turning the key and taking her for a sea trial well i don't think i'm going to be taking her for a sea trial but we're going to be bumping her in and out of gear here at the dock verifying that everything is working throttles are working everything is working and then we just notify the customer that he's ready to go so i'm done until i get some water all right guys, so last day here. And look who has a fresh cut. Yeah, right? The guy's a fresh cut of hair. Anyways, last day we are now just turning on the system. So system is active. Uh, if any of you are wondering why it's not mounted yet, it's because we just made these plates, these cover plates and we just glued them down so we're waiting for them to dry yes we could probably put some nice screws here with some covers on it but we're not doing that we're trying to give a nice sleek look so but as you can see the control head is active the warm light is on and we're going to start both engines one two and like i say with this eec4 cummins package 
it is a plug and play system so if you buy it from us or you need any of, of our assistance all we could do is just tell you what the product what parts you need and then we could actually tell you how to connect it so now that the system is on both engines are running it's in warm mode and now we could actually increase the port side and now we're going to increase the starboard side okay and if we take the warm button off now we're able to shift so we're going to bump the port into forward starboard into forward i'm sorry starboard into rear okay and the same thing port starboard port starboard so shifting capabilities are correct the cables do come labeled for for forward and reverse so knowing that if this transmission is labeled with forward and reverse all you have to do is unplug it and connect uh, the DIN cables to the transmissions but as of right now everything is ready to go we're gonna go ahead and put everything back to normal the way that it is but we didn't disturb any of the wiring of the boat everything stays original and like I say guys it's a plug-and-play if you have any questions please let us know in the link below all right and like and subscribe guys. all right this is what we end up pulling out this is the mechanical so everybody is trying to figure out well how is a mechanical operating a electronic vessel well electronic shift well they modified this as you can see there is micro switches here for the shift so this way you'd be forward or reverse either way so and if you notice this brings it this little tang activates this micro switch and for reverse the same thing so they did it on both sides so they able to take a electronic control system modify it by applying 12 volts to these micro switches to shift the boat so a lot of times if you come to the boat and you see these a lot of people think that it's always mechanical it's not it could always it could be either or so it is wise to double check to find out if it is mechanical or electronic and as far as throttles the th this vessel was equipped with throttle position sensors and they're connected to TPS sensors so this is a 33 C cable that goes into a TPS sensor that operates the throttle so we were pushing a TPS sensor for full throttle and all the way in retracting mode it's for idle so double check these because you could order the wrong parts and if you do then we have to return it give you a credit and correct it but this is a full electronic control system and it's a plug and play like I said all we end up doing is ordering the harnesses from Glenn Denning the cur what the vessel needed the length of the cables we made our cover plates here and it's and it's ignition enabled so when you turn on the ignitions everything works so double check the vessel first before ordering all right guys I jumped a little bit ahead of myself but these are the new cover plates that took the place of the mechanical heads and we actually have the handle already mounted Julian's cleaning it up he already put in the switch panel here we got all the stuff cleaned up we've already tested the system everything is working forward neutral reverse the ignition circuit the enable circuit everything is working guys um, but like I said if you have any questions please let us know and what do we say like and subscribe like and subscribe guys have a great day